Alright, this is Von Lagaya, and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Anyway, it's been a while since I've done a Resident Evil game, so I figured I'd get back into one, since they're fun. We're going to start up right away. Hard mode, because, you know, easy mode's kind of lame. Helps you through too much. You get infinity of a bunch of stuff. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them, and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight! It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. started so um from here we're just gonna head up this way uh you can see there's a zombie here there's no reason to shoot him it's easier just to let him take just to let him bite you and then climb here because you take a little bit of damage but after this cutscene you heal fully so there's no point to waste ammo so because you don't get that bad Alright, she made it through. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone! guy's kind of stupid. I mean, he did. I know he lost his daughter and everything, but you think he'd be uh, more willing to cooperate with someone if they're going to try and work together. 
together to get out of there. Anyway, there's some ammo in there, and we've got these two game instructions. We're going to read A first and then B afterwards. We're not actually going to read them, because there's no point to. I'll explain everything as we go along. But, uh, you want to read them in order just because it, if you get everything in order, you get like a something like Jill's Diary or something at the end of the, at the, end of the game after you read it. So we're going to try and get that. Anyway, um, I don't think first aid sprays affect your rank in this game at all. If there is a rank, I think there might be. I'm not sure if they affect you or not. They might, but um, if we need them, we're going to use them anyway. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to come up here and go into this room. And uh, inside we find the warehouse key. And over here we have some items that are different from Resident Evil 2. Gunpowders. Two gunpowder A's. Now gunpowder A, it makes, um, if you combine it with a reloading tool, you can actually make ammo with gunpowder. The gunpowder A's make pistol, sh pistol ammo, which we're going to do. Um, you actually increase your ability, like, sort of like a level up type thing with the, with the reloading tool as well as you go along. Um, so you'll make more ammo and stuff, and then eventually enhanced ammo. Anyway, we're going to stash the first aid spray and the reloading tool in the box, and save our game here. We have an old file here, which is just at the beginning, so let's override it. There we go. We're going to end the episode here. So anyway, see you next time.